everybody, welcome back to Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. I'm Candace Cole. Today we're doing a review on this copper knife. You know you have seen all this copper stuff all over TV. And um, I was at Big Lots and I saw this for $5 and I'm like, hey, we're trying that. I know I can't tell you if the knife is gonna stay sharpened forever. If you're watching this video and it's been a while, leave me a comment down below. Ask me if it's still sharp. I'll let you know. I'll let you know if there's any updates about it. I don't know why I like having different knives. I like um, I like sharpness of knives. So this is the copper knife. And of course it says it never needs sharpening. It says it on the front and the back. That's how serious they are. What does it say? Oh, caution, cut hazard, sharp blade, sharp blade. Improper use would include chiseling. They don't want you to chisel with this. They also do not want you to do any ice picking which in Florida, I shouldn't have a problem. It gets cold up north, good luck guys, but don't ice pick with this. Um, prying, applying force onto the back of the blade or contact may actually, all those things, they could result in injury. So yeah, always, always keep these blades away from your fingers. That's smart advice. And your body, that's trouble. Uh, do not use if it's damaged or if the blade is uh, loose, handle with care, etc., etc. Don't let your kids play with it. Uh, it is stainless steel which is kind of funny because it's copper. Yeah. Um, it says it delivers effortless, effortless clean cuts every time. Not sometimes, not every three times, every time. It also has these oval cutout shapes to reduce friction and keep slices from sticking. I do hate when I'm cutting a big chunk of like wet mozzarella cheese and it gets stuck on there. I hate that. Um, it says ideal for chopping, dicing, mincing, and more, which is usually what you use a knife for. $5 as seen on TV, big lots. I don't know if they have them anymore. You can probably get it on Amazon. My favorite thing about getting a knife in a package like this is you're always like, I need a knife to open my knife. It is a little thicker than I thought it would be. Um, actually a little heavier than I thought it would be too. The, um, handle <laughs> that's the name of that is fine feels fine nothing special is it really sharp oh it did stick in there ruined my knife but you know let's get started I always say knives are really good when you first get them because they're super sharp out of the package. Let's just try it on an apple. Huh. That took a bit more force than I expected. Let me try the front of the blade. It is requiring a bit of sawing. I have knives that work a little bit better than this, I feel. Let's see, let's do a little dicing. An apple, I feel, is a very easy test. I wasn't super impressed with how it initially cut the apple. I mean, it feels like a nice thick blade, but I'm wondering if it's almost too thick? I don't know if that makes sense. I need this all diced up because we are making an apple bunt cake inside a rotisserie. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Well, we need some diced up apple. So this just kind of worked, two for one. Keep away from your fingers, Candace. Well, I thought test number two might need to be a chicken, some sort of meat product. Uh, I've already cut a little bit. I did make this in the roaster oven too today, but let's see how it cuts some meat. Was pretty good. I have to saw it. I mean, normally I would anyway, but I liked it on the meat better than the um, than the apple. I gotta get a piece for my dog, hold on. Well, in this house we use a lot of cheese, so I figured that would be a good thing to try the knife on. Let's open the package with it. Gosh, who will eat this cheese that I cut? Mm. 
it kind of smushed the cheese down. Let's try another piece. I'm gonna do it in the back of the knife. I mean, that was fine. It's easy to peel off, because again, I guess that's what those holes are for. Um, I feel like I'm putting a lot more pressure than I would one of my other knives. I'm gonna grab another knife and, and test just for me and for you. This is my uh, Tamadachi green knife. I do like this one. Let's see if I feel a difference. Now it's bigger. Mm, yeah, that took a, that took pressure too. I'll try again. Oh, that was uneven. Okay, they're similar. They're similar. They both take more pressure than I assumed that this one would. I just thought this was like, so sharp, it was gonna cut through it like butter. Oh, cutest puppy down here ever. You wanna see it? Give him my little cute puppy. He's looking for food. He wants some chicken, I know. He knows that word. If you know me and you've watched the show, you know I like to do reviews and not always use the product for what it should be used for or do something different with it. I mean, there's a good chance you're gonna cut up some candy some chocolate in your life. Today, that's what I'm gonna do. I have some Reese's peanut butter cups with Reese's pieces inside of them. These have been in my refrigerator, so they're a little bit hard, but I wanna see how it dices up some chocolate. Not bad. That didn't take that much effort. That was good. I also, for some reason, Felt like cutting open the top of a juice pouch, Capri Sun. I'll drink it. It's not, the chocolate's not going to the waste. The juice pouch is not going to waste. Um, because have you ever tried to poke a straw through these? You know what a pain they could be. So let's see how this knife works. Ooh, I mean, that sliced that really good. I don't know. I've never sliced a juice pouch before, but um, this is good. So we have a knife here. It was $5. I'm... I'm mediocre about it. I think in my mind I expected, oh, it's gonna be so sharp. It's gonna be amazing. I'm not gonna have to use any effort, but I am. It's similar to other knives in the $5 range. Actually, it's probably a, a better $5 knife than most knives. Uh, it cuts, it chops, you know, remember, no fingers. I, I feel like it's sharp enough. It never needs sharpening. I hope that's the truth, we'll see. Um, Five dollars. I wouldn't spend more than five. If I bought this for ten, I think I would be disappointed. If I bought it for twenty, I would return it. Five, it's gonna stay around the house because I dirty knives and I always need extra. And they never get cleaned in enough time. All right, guys, thanks. So oh yeah, I'm not supposed to take this close to body parts. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you get one of these, let me even know what you think about it down below in the comments. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, watch some old videos, give this video a like. I will see you guys next time. Bye.